Hey, what's up everyone? Saints fan back again with another GTA 5 video and what you're seeing is something that is pretty awesome. Now I wanted to show you guys this and I figured what better day to do it than the day that nothing is happening in GTA Online because the event week's not anything special. But this is a mod in single player and it completely changes the way the game is played. It's a battle royale style of mod Although, because it's in single player and you're fighting NPCs, it's more of like a horde mode instead of an actual battle royale mode. But I wanted to show you guys this and then, you know, talk about how this could be awesome in GTA Online. Now, what you're seeing here, and I have not really looked at any of this stuff, so hopefully uh, we can figure this out. But this is like the menu, and I'll leave a link to the mod in the description, but the dude says who made it. There's like 70 different avatars you can choose from, I think. So yeah, we have, like, look at all these. This is insane. So, let's see, if I hit space, I believe, we can scroll through some of them. I'm not going to show you guys everything, just because, obviously, that would take forever. But you can see the vi to the left, at the bottom, what weapon they use, what secondary weapon, what vehicle they use. Also, you can see some of their, um, I guess, special abilities over there on the left. If I hit tab, you can see enter prone on activation. Like, dude, that's insane. Okay, it violently accelerates uh, two times. Okay, there, like there's a ton of stuff here. Now I'm guessing, because I can only go through four, I don't know if I'm not like doing something right, but I'm guessing these are like the four maybe that we start with, and then over time, like I guess you unlock more of them. Because you can see the top, this one's only a fighter level zero, and we're only a rank one. So I'm guessing it's sort of a progression system, right? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna pick this chick. She has the AKM, the Deagle. Let's see what her special is. Pulls all nearby enemies in medium range to the user. That's cool. Tame Mountain Lion. Oh my god, we get a freaking pet. And then a limit or uh, restores two NRG while on 100% health. Okay, so that's cool. So we're gonna go with her. She's doing some yoga. Now what's cool? So you have your profile, so you can see all of your stats. And we have settings, which we can do stuff easy mode. We need to put that on because I probably I'm gonna freaking suck at this. But there's some stuff we're not going to do too much. And then there's the database. This is the rules. So two teams and the player are fighting around the current zone. Zones will update. Okay, most of that is pretty basic stuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to enter. And we're going to begin the battle royale. Like I said, it's more of a horde. It's not your, uh-oh, not your traditional battle royale. It's got battle royale elements. But something like this could easily be implemented in GTA Online. Now, on the mini-map, you can see we have a circle. And I believe if we go out of the circle, let's just see what happens. If you go... Yeah. You have a couple of seconds to go back to the circle. You know, like uh, some of your other GTA modes. Now, if we get out, we have our guns and stuff. We're going to take out these people. Hopefully. You can teleport in here. So, hold on, I'm just going to drive around and look at the controls. So we can blink teleport, we can switch to weapons, instant out of vehicle is F, and exit special vehicle, and oh my god, the hell's going on? Oh my, there's an artillery strike, what the hell? I'm trying to figure out how to use my special abilities. Some of these guys are pretty difficult to, uh, to take out. You can see we are getting, I think, what is that, XP at the top right. You can see how many kills we have and stuff. Oh! Okay, we just teleported. There's our freaking trusty steed. But where where are you going? He's running away! I also can't see my health, so I don't know... Oh, no, the health's the percentage right there, so I am regaining it. But you can teleport. You can hit E. Uh-oh, we're out of the zone. We can teleport around, which is cool. Now, for online purposes, obviously, that's that's probably a little overpowered. That I don't think you want people teleporting around and stuff. However, okay, so look, there's a new zone coming. So, it, again, that's somewhat similar to, you know, the stuff you see in Battle Royale modes. Oh, one, two, and three is specials. Oh, my God. So, that was the, <laughs> that was the Vortex special. Okay, that's cool. Beastmaster is a passive special? F you, man. And then we have P. Or no, we have three. Okay, so th those are two passive specials. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We can <laughs> bring those in. Oh, shit, we got it. Uh-oh. 
I'm not even paying attention, and I freaking died to the timer. All right, so I'm liking this dude's specials. We're gonna go with this crazy, or this is a, a check too. And I like her car there. So we're gonna go ahead and play again. Actually, before we do that, let's see my profiles. So we have a few things here, and we haven't ranked up, so I don't know. I guess we might have to just play a little bit more. But let's hit enter and uh, see what happens. Now the people, okay, so we're up here in Mount Chiliad area. Now, you'll see here in a second, there's gonna be people parachuting in. Cause they also parachute in and, yeah, there you go. Instead of just, you know, spawning and stuff, they parachute in and, is the train coming? No way. <laughs> okay, for a second there, I thought that was a, oh, I thought that was a person. So we should probably stay in our vehicle because I know like the vehicles have certain things, but I figure it's probably easier just to shoot people, especially in this terrain, because they they can't. Well, unless they're on bikes here, but yeah, this idiot already fell over. These guys keep falling over. See, one of our abilities here is the minigun, which I feel like is a lot better. We could definitely kill a lot more people here. Oh no, we're gonna get run over! Oh my god! Oh my god, we got the dude. We freaking killed this. Now I think, I don't know how long this minigun lasts, but I don't think it lasts too long. Freaking rolling out the way. And the AI in here are actually pretty smart. As you saw, I mean like that chick rolled out the way. Like they're not incredibly stupid like most NPCs in this game. Now we have a 15 eliminations. We're doing pretty good here. And I think they're actually fighting each other as well, because like the thing said, there's two teams. So it's not like they're all just against you. We're going to make our way back to the car, though, because the next zone, yeah. So it's going to get smaller and smaller. Actually, okay, there's the minigun is, is gone. Although we can just get a new one. So it really don't matter. I think it's... Oh, we can't shoot for... Am I out of... I'm out of ammo! Oh, my God, no! Dang it. I guess we can't use it endlessly which makes sense but we got a bunch of kills in so that was kind of cool so i'm reading here for the avatars you can actually make your own one but you have to win so we're gonna have to win and there's like trading and stuff so there's some really cool like in-depth stuff with this you can see some of the streaks i apparently did not scroll all the way through the database so i'm not too smart but that's the rank right there and i guess you get more points or something for each rank and then Talks about specials, pro progressions, like, dude, this mod is, this mod almost, like, it looks official. Like, it's a really, really well done mod. But we we have another uh, chick here. She's a little uh, crazy looking. But we're going to go ahead and start, and hopefully we can win one of these. I got to, I got to play smart to, uh, to win one of these. Oh my god! Yeah, those are the same... Jesus Christ! She's gonna freaking come out of everywhere! Oh, she's already dead. No, I have no energy. Okay, so we have to get energy. I forget how we get energy. I think we just by killing people or something. My wingman is doing pretty good, and we're in the next zone. So let's see uh, what we can do here. My stuff is replenishing. Oh my god, get out of here. Now we have a bunch of uh, people up there. Okay, so we're gonna have to move. So the zone's getting smaller and smaller. So we're gonna have to Go in there, wingman. Oh, what the? They got in here somehow. All right, let's take out this helicopter first. Return. Oh no, we're gonna freaking die because I wasn't paying attention to the zone. No, no, no! Jesus Christ, we're never gonna win one of these. All right, this is what I need. Trade place with a random enemy on foot while in the circle. We're using you, my man. All right, we're winning this time because we're playing it smart. We have a bodyguard with this character. I don't know where my uh, my wingman is. There she is. All right, if we take out the, the people that are shooting, we should be good on the helicopters. Okay, next zone. Next zone. We're going to hit our three button. All right. We're close to the next zone. Let's make sure we get in. I am not freaking dying. Unless I get RPG'd. Oh my god. 
Okay, we're hiding under here. Dude, this zone is so small. There's no way I make it out of this. There's no way. There's no way. That car's on fire. Oh my. I got RPG. Okay, that's just unfair. All right, so while I play this, hopefully I don't die again. I think, uh, I mean, you guys can obviously let me know in the comment section, but something like this would be really, really cool, I think, in online. Obviously, if they did it right, they'd have to do it kind of like this. They can't just half-ass it and make it an adversary mode like they've done with some other game modes. But as like a full-fledged game mode, this is kind of cool. Now, you'd have to balance it a little bit. Like, yeah, you maybe won't or don't want to have people teleporting around unless that's like an, from an airdrop or something a bill an ability from an airdrop only because that's you know when it comes to pvp that's annoying you don't want you just don't want that to happen like yeah uh having it in a game mode where you're playing against npcs that's fine but when you're playing against other people that's just an that's an annoyance that just i don't think is worth pvp but some of these other things and this could be how gta line does like the whole battle royale stuff differently than like every other game because you know every other game they freaking they you know they kind of copy off of each other when it comes to the battle royale stuff all right we're gonna not die and this game you could even incorporate the npcs oh my god i can't shoot up you can even incorporate the npcs we're, we're gonna hide because you can have the regular people but to make it feel more crazy and more alive i guess whatever you could have all these npcs falling as okay that's gonna freaking crash and kill me but like i was saying you you know you could have some npcs drop in so it's not just people and there could be the artillery strikes you know we already have that mechanic in the game they could easily throw that in this mode they have the crate drops which could drop not only weapons but you could have the like you know go all crazy with it we already have these robots and stuff in the doomsday heist and like all this futuristic stuff so incorporate stuff like that like they have the invisible cloaks now i hate invisibility in multiplayer games but you know maybe if it was a risk versus reward type of thing that might work and i just think this could be a really fun change of pace for for online and you could have like team modes and stuff uh, as well probably limited to four at least you know with your ceo maybe you make it to where they have to be a ceo up there if they want um if they want to play with their friends or something you know rockstar could totally do stuff like this and then make money off of it there's like a million different things they could monetize in this in terms of like outfits and characters and stuff. Now, you couldn't make it pay to win, but you could make it. Is this really the circle where I'm at? You couldn't make it pay. To, oh, no. You couldn't make it pay to win. Victory. Ah, OK. So we just got to sit in here. Look, we have victory because we basically hid. You couldn't make it pay to win, but they could have like different. I don't know cosmetic stuff that they could sell and i'm sure if this is a fun thing purchase avatar oh no i didn't want to purchase this one although hell we won so let's purchase five freaking things yo we have a cowboy so now we're ranked two look at that now how do i i purchase the dude maybe i didn't purchase him in time but anyway that's uh, i don't want this video to be too much longer i just wanted to show off this really cool mod if you have pc definitely I would say you know download this and play it every now and then it's a it's a nice change of pace and it's kind of fun and with the rewards and the leveling and stuff it's not like you're doing all this stuff for nothing like you're actually working towards something so oh god we have a shotgun that's probably not good <laughs> oh we have a homie launcher though f you executioner well we died it wouldn't let me execute him but yeah, anyway, there you guys have it. I'll leave a link, like I said, in the description. But thank you all for watching. Please drop the video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. And let me know if you guys want to see more of this mod and me actually trying to play instead of just talking like an idiot and failing clearly like I've done.
But yeah, anyway, see you guys in the next one.